Okay, welcome to this lesson on debugging. So um, I'm going to get you to do a bit of work, actually. I thought it'd be really good um, if we could make a racing game. Now, I found the nice thing of something someone has done, and I'll give you the link to the video showing what they did. It's on a slightly older version of Scratch, but that's okay. Um, so we're going to make a, a racing game. Now, the first thing that we're going to need to do is... I'm unfortunately going to have to, to get rid of the cat. So I'm just going to click on the cat. Oh, and I see here that, let me just cold down for that. So I've got my cat here. And I'm just going to delete him. Now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to make our race track. Pardon me. We're going to make a race track. So I'm going to click on the stage. And then what I want to do, uh, I just need to scroll up a bit here. Okay and I'm going to go to the backdrops and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill the whole backdrop okay up with a color so I'm going to have I think a green so let's see if this will work um, let me just scroll down here a bit I actually can convert it to a bitmap for this and I'm going to pour the color in right and I've got my color green actually I quite like it a bit darker than that so I'm just gonna see if I click on this fill bit here I can make that a bit darker so that's that's going to be like the outside of my track okay now what I also then want to do is I want to draw um, my track and I'm going to do that sort of freehand and I need to choose a color that's going to be the color of the track so um, I don't know I'm thinking like something like that gray color would be fine and this will change the, the size so at the moment that's quite small it's going to take me a long time so I'm going to see if I can make it nice and big like that okay right I think it can probably go a bit bigger than that as well so 100 okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw myself a race car track so I'm just going to draw on here and hopefully you can if you let go you can sort of see what's happening okay so I'm gonna just make it like this I think I'm gonna have a little curve there a little curve there and then I'm gonna have a little bend there and I get it back to the beginning so that is my track okay so wonderful so I can now go back to here and I'm going to now add a sprite and actually I'm just going to draw a sprite I'm going to make a really simple car at the moment now you can make your own um, or you could find one but I'm just going to make one okay now what I decide I'm going to do here is I'm just going to make it a very simple rectangle so I'm going to draw a rectangle in the middle see this crosshair it's quite important you get it in the middle or else your car won't be exactly where you want it so I'm going to have I like I, I like Ferrari but um, a red car will be fine my wife likes red as well so I'm going to have a red car okay now I'm going to have no outline on it um, Actually, I'm going to leave the outline. I think it'll be fine. So I'm just going to draw my car like that. And that's that's my car. All right. So hope to see. Now that's a bit big at the moment. So luckily, down here on size, I can just make it smaller. So 100 is its original size. 50 would be half its size. So we see what that looks like. I could probably go for 40 on that and that should be okay so that's my car okay so what I'm going to need to do now is I want to make this automatic so that it drives around okay so what I'm going to have to do now is go from costumes over to the code here at the top left I'll just move that up so you can see it okay so I've got my code here so I'm just going to go to my code well I want him to start so the first thing that I'm going to need to do is to go to events and then go when the green flag is clicked so we're going to start him off when the green flag is clicked now I think this is going to be my start line okay so I'm going to make it so that he always starts there so what I'd really like to do is always put him in that position now on the left hand side here I can use a motion block like this. So 
And what I want to do is I want to say go to a point. Now, the, what we need to find is under go to random position, if we choose this, this is the exact position where he is at the moment. If I move it, okay, so we had minus, you see it's changed. If I move it up a bit, the y value changed. This one here will change. So I've got that, and I'm going to take that. And what I'm also going to want to do is to make sure that he's pointing the right way. So I'm always going to say he's going to be pointing in direction 90. Because if I show you 90 here, you can see he's always pointing that way. So I know he's always going to start in that position, whatever position he then gets to. Okay. Now, what I have to do is I have to say, well, I'm going to make him turn. Well, how am I going to make him turn? Well... This is what I'm going to need to do. I'm going to go back to my car and I'm just going to edit the car a bit. So I've got something here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that if it's the left hand side of the car at the front, I'm going to paint a different color on. So I'm going to go for blue. OK, so I'm going to paint this blue on. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and I'm going to like put bumpers on. Right. So I'm just going to put some blue at the corner of the car like that. All right. And <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to now choose another color for the other side. Now we've got green, we've got red, so I need something. <coughs> pardon me. Oh, I think pink would be perfect. So I'm going to choose pink and I'm going to put the pink on this side. Right, because we're going to do something clever now. We're going to say if touching, if blue touches something, then we're going to make something happen. <coughs> so back to our code, I want to do a, a sensing thing. Now, if I go to here, I want to go sensing. So I'm going to say if color is touching this color. So I'm going to say if the blue color is touching the green, then do something. So I can choose this. And one of the things you can do, you can use this little um, eyedropper thing. It's important you use that because you want to get exactly the right color. So I'm going to sample the color there. And that's my color. And I want the bumper now. So I'm going to click on this, click on the eyedropper. And then over here, you can see I can actually sample that blue and then I know it's exactly the right colour. So I've got that is touching green. I'm also going to need another one for the pink. So I'm going to duplicate it. OK, so click on that again. Click on this and go and find the pink. There we go. Right. So now I've got that. Now I need it to do something because when it's... Um, the blue hits the green. I want it to turn sort of um, clockwise um, some degrees. So I'm going to have to do something with that. So I'm going to need an if command. Now, an if command is just a question. If this happens, then do that. OK, so I'm going to go to if. OK, I'm going to say if then. So I'm going to do this, I'm going to have an if, and I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to say, if blue colour is touching green, then I want him to turn that way. Let's say turn 15 degrees. OK. Now for the pink one, I'm going to want him to turn the other way. I'm going to want him to turn anti-clockwise. So I'm going to need one of these, and I'm also going to need an if as well. So I've got this okay so i need to put that in there and that in there okay right so i've got that i've got my track um oh there's one other thing this would only ever run once so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this forever block and put it in there and then put these inside it now, at the moment, it isn't moving, okay? So we need to get it to move some sort of distance. But with cars, I want to actually get them moving a bit quicker. 
So what I need is is speed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to here, and a variable is just a like a box where we can store a value. So I'm going to make us something called speed. Okay, and I'm click click OK. So I've now got my speed set at zero. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my variable to a value. I don't know, maybe I'm going to start off really, really slowly. I'm going to start off at 1, okay? So it's going to be quite a slow car. But I now need to get it to move some sort of steps. So if I go back to motion, right, I can then go move 10 steps. So I want him to turn down here and then move. So I'm going to put it right at the bottom here. Now, He'll move 10 steps, but I only want him to move one. So the cool thing is, if I go back to variables, okay, and I can drag this speed here, and then I can see what happens. All right? So I can set, oh, I need to set my variable. I need to set speed to that, or else he wouldn't move at all. So now, hopefully, my car should move around. Now you can see him going here. I wonder whether it's going to work. Is it going to turn? Oh, he is going to turn. So that's wonderful. Okay. So let's see if he then comes down the other side. Yep. Oh, that's not bad at all. Oh, that's good. So my car is now travelling around the track. And we've got our sort of like own car that can get around. Now I can then, it's doing quite well at a slow speed. Now, I wonder what will happen if, you know, I stop that now. And maybe I set my speed to 20. Okay. And then I do it again. So it's going to move a lot faster. Oh, oh dear. So something's wrong there. I, I mean, I might be able to change the speed to another value like 10. And it might be... Um, better oh that's oh it's still going a bit wrong so the other things that i could change is how much it turns so what i want you to do is i want you to create your racetrack i want you to create your car and then i'd like you using this to experiment with the speed and the amount that it turns and see how fast you can get your car going around your circuit without it coming off the track. Okay, so you're going to make your track, that's the first thing. Then you need to make your car, put the different coloured bumpers on, and then experiment with these variables. Once you've made the program, just like this, you're then going to need to change the speed and see what happens. OK, can you make it better? Because there's basically some bugs in this that we need to iron out because we're experimenting, we're creating things. So hopefully um, you'll have a bit of fun making this. Um, so enjoy and I'll give you a hand as and when I can. OK, thank you very much.